Were you surprised that we didn't get a taper when it came to the production cuts at this latest meeting? Well, it's actually pretty surprising to me. Um, actually, from a pure market balancing perspective, um, the Saudi's decisions to extend its one million production cut into April is quite surprising. Because if we look at the latest data from major oil consuming countries like China, the US and India, we can roughly come to a conclusion that global oil demand is now only three to four percent or three to four million barrels per day below the pre-pandemic level in 2019. Um, and, and in the meanwhile, actually, OPEC and the US are producing around five to six million barrels per day less compared with their um, I'm okay with what they did in 2019. So actually, um, from a balancing perspective, and in theory, there is still a one to two million barrels per day room for OPEC to increase its production um, without having to drag down oil prices too much. I mean, perhaps Saudi is more concerned about the ties and discipline within OPEC plus or OPEC, um, especially given, you know, under the Biden administration now, um, it seems there's, um, it is going some through some changes to Saudi U.S. relations, or perhaps by um, you know um, the, the increasing oil price will more than offset Saudi's um, uh, extension of the, the production cut. But I mean, from a pure market balancing perspective, um, I, I think that Saudi's decision will actually further tighten the market and drive up the oil prices in the short term.